everyone, this is Perlina here with Perlina's Precious Pretties on YouTube. And today I'd like to share another mini album that I recently created. I used the My Mind's Eye Wicked Collection as well as uh, some Wild Orchid Crafts flowers which include the 100 Mix Vintage Color Hydrangeas, the Blooms 35mm uh, and the 25mm. And I also used the 100 Mixed Vintage Color Open Roses. And these are the 15 millimeter hair. And these are the 10 millimeter. And I used some of the Recollections Flowers from Michael's. And I got these out of the dollar bin. And these are the two large roses you see there. And I also use the uh, Recollections the, uh, Embellishment Flowers. These are over by the uh, main flowers over there, all the Recollections Flowers, and I think they were $3.99. And I used a 50% coupon. You can see I used a lot of them. I think there's, there's 25 pieces in this uh, pack. So. And this album measures 6 and 3 eighths of an inch across. Six and two, uh, I'm sorry, six and a quarter inch from the top and bottom, and is approximately three inches wide. And I will be doing a tutorial on how to create an album very similar to this and posting it on my website, which I'm working on right now. And when I do launch it, I'll let you all know. And this was just so much fun to create, and I hope you enjoy uh, the inside and all the details. So like I said, here are the hydrangeas. They have the, these are the larger ones and some of the smaller ones. And I just went ahead and coordinated them with the matching roses and glued them in the centers. These little twisty green stems that you see here came from the roses. I just pulled them off and I used the back of a paintbrush and I twisted them up and then I folded them in half to make like a V and then I just glued them under the uh, flowers here. This trim is actually a uh, trim that I got from a lady who was giving away her uh, craft supplies. I guess she had too much stuff and her sons were actually, you know, putting all her stuff out on the porch while she went away on vacation because I would have to go away on vacation in order for you to give away my stuff. And she was just giving away all this awesome trim and, and uh, embellishments and, and paper. She didn't have a whole lot of paper. Uh, most of her stuff was a beautiful ribbon, and look at these, look at this one here, this is just, you can't buy this anywhere. And she um, was just giving away for free, so I put as much as I could possibly put into my car and brought them home, and now I'm using them to craft. This is also uh, some of the ribbon that I got from that haul. And on the bind here, I have some more of the uh, boutique flowers that I created using the tutorial from Loves to Scrap for Fun. I will put a link to her tutorial below. And this is a trim, a pearl bead trim that I also got from Wild Orchid Crafts. And here they are here. And I ran that across the front and across the back here. And so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and this here on the front, this little frame I got from Michael's and I went ahead and painted it this darker beige color. And then I got the cut parts that came with the, the My Mind's Eye Wicked set and I went ahead and just put it in there as a title. And it says All Hollows Eve in the center there. So you just go ahead, turn it over and then just uh, pull this bow part here had it kind of tight. I actually went ahead and uh, listed this on eBay and it sold and I, I meant to put this video up sooner but this week it, every week is escaping me now my daughter's in a, playing baseball and this was the first week of practice and the coach had us practice every day so I didn't have an opportunity to put this video up but here it is now and I do hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here are pages one and two. And these photo mats will hold 
a three by or three point five or three and a half inch squared photo. When I do the tutorial, the photo mats will be much larger. I use the faux stitched mats from Little Scraps of Heaven Designs. I'll put a link to that uh, that uh, file or that website below so that you can get your own. It's very convenient. You can just use your silhouette to cut out the mats and you know not have to go through a whole lot of trouble. Cut out multiple mats if you'd like. And I also use the Fancy Flourishes files uh, from Little Scraps of Heaven here across the um, along the sides of the flowers there to kind of add a little more dimension. And here you see some more of the hydrangeas. These are actually recollections, the white ones, the larger ones. I would have purchased them from Wild Orchid Crafts, but at the time they didn't have any in stock. They do now, so I will be making another purchase with them to get some more of those. And I went ahead and clustered them up here, and throughout the whole album they're clustered up in this sort of a way just matching the pages that they're on. So here is a, one of the brads that, uh, two of the brads that came with the Wicked collection in a separate pack. So you got the paper pack and then you got another little pack of brads. And I went ahead and put those in the center. And these are some of the baby's breath that I actually um, got from Michael's as well. It's like a, baby, um, I'm sorry, a cream color. The Naturals from Ashland. And I went ahead and I just uh, pulled those off, and I went ahead and I glued them down onto the uh, under the flower bed, and I thought it made it look very nice. So here is the first photo mat here, and this uh, little sentiment reads, "The witch is right tonight." And it was just one of the cut aparts that I used my chomper, my corner chomper, to round out, and then I glued it onto a piece of chipboard. I actually glued it onto the piece of chipboard and then chomped it out. And then I used some double sticky tape to raise them up off to kind of give them a, 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 some more dimension and to be able to hide these tags behind there. So let me grab this tag. And each page has one photo mat and uh, one tag. So here are the tags that come with this page or these two pages, pages one and two. And this little sentiment here reads, Haunted Pumpkin Patch. Let me just tuck them behind there. And then here are pages, they're slipping out. Here are pages three and four. And here are some more of the brads. This is like a little spiderweb brad. And this one says October 31st. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if my camera's going to focus. There we go. It's really bright. Work my lighting a little better than this. Okay. Um. Yes. And and uh, here are some more of the hydrangeas. These are a cream color, and some more of the flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And uh, this has more of a buggy spider theme. I put it together that way on purpose because you know it just looked right. And here are the two tags that go with this page. Some creepy little bugs on the tag there. I don't know if you can see those. Hopefully you can. And I'll go ahead and put those back. And um, go ahead and go to the next page. Five and six. And this sentiment says, something wicked this way comes. And here are some more of the flowers here, some of the brads that came with the collection. This sentiment reads, Happy Halloween. Keep that in frame there. And here are the two tags. And to me, this is the spookiest tag here. It's just so eerie. And I'll go ahead and put that in. And this was really easy to make. I mean, once you know what you're doing it, it came together pretty quickly so i may be doing this tutorial first uh as opposed to the baby girl tutorial that i was going to do because that one's going to take a little longer to put together and uh wild orchid crafts is actually having a design team uh call 
So I'm kind of anxious to, to put something together so that I can maybe possibly be a part of the design team, which would be amazing and so much fun. And I just am um, excited about it. I don't even know what else to do. But either way, here is pages. Our pages are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight in an orange color. And these aren't brads, but they did come in the brad pack. They're more like a chipboard with patterned paper on them. And this is a brad here. And this sentiment reads Transylvania Bat Museum. And this one says Halloween. Let's see if I can get that closer so you can see. Okay. And my lighting is just, it's funny because I have to do my videos in the evening now. So I have my husband go and purchase a whole bunch of lights for me to try to set up where I can work at night. Because in the day, I, I can't work and uh, or do the videos. He's either watching TV while the kids are at school, loud, or uh, the kids are home. So it's nice and quiet right now. And here are two of them. Ooh, let me get it out. It's really late, so scruples are all the way on. So here are two tags that go with that. Okay, I'll go ahead and put those in. And these are pages 9 and 10. And this sentiment reads, Potion Makers Tincture and potion supplies. And this one says, something wicked this way comes. And here is the tag that goes, you know, I'm really gonna have to figure out a way to do this where the tags don't slip down that far. Okay. I'll probably put like a strip of um, double sticky tape behind here so it just sits on the top there. And here are the two tags. Then we have pages 11 and 12. And I like the colors of this album. It was, it was nice. And I liked the way that the flowers just went with them really smoothly. It didn't give me too much to have to try to match. It just went really nicely there. And this says October 31st. Here's a little place for you to write something in real quick. And this is another tag here. And another tag there. So you can see those. And then here are the last two pages. And this is a, these are just little cutouts, uh, tickets, admit one Carlisle Cemetery, and then this says the Salem Trolley Co. Employees Ticket, October. And then this one says Melroy on the stage, what does that say? Midnight, spooky party, talking skulls, spirit slate writing, spirit table raising, host from the dead. A little more. I would like, but I really like the paper. And here are the last two tags. So that was a really fun album to put together. I really like this brad here. It's a witch on a broom. And um, I thought that was really cute. I'll go ahead and put it on there. And then here is the back with that trim. I just layered two uh, different types of trim on top of each other. So that's my album. And I really hope you liked it. And let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. And I will talk to you all soon. Thank you. Bye.